Let's discuss about bug life cycle. A life if a bug in software development life cycle. Steve is a software test engineer. While executing test cases, he found a deviation today and decide to log a bug against. Log the bug in the tracking tool with the status new, and assigned to the developer. Developer analyzed and able to reproduce it and status changed into active. After completing the development he changed into fixed status and assigned back to Steve for testing. During retesting Steve found the bug is no more existing and the application working as expected and he closed the bug. During retesting, if the bug is no fixed, then it will be moved back to active status for fixing. This is the normal scenario, but things can be worse at times. Assume the bug is in new status, and the developer found it's an invalid business scenario. So he will change the status to invalid or reject it. Sometimes the developer might assume the bug is not a priority for current release and can be fixed in later release, he might change the status into deferred. In both the cases Steve wants to get it clarified with the business analyst. At times, things can be even worse. Developer might not able to reproduce the bug and status will be flagged to cannot reproduce. Even developer can put duplicate status for an bug which has already been reported. So, a bug can have status like, new, active, fixed, duplicate, rejected or invalid, and closed. That's all about the life of a bug. Score a zone, the corporate, trainers. Subscribe our channel and enable bell icon to get notifications on videos related to software testing.